Hello everyone, my name is Albert and welcome back to another one d Studios video and in this video I'm going to show you how to optimize AMD to get the best performance out of it and also show you a little test that I made about the difference of integrated and dedicated graphics. So for the purpose of this video I will use my integrated graphics to run AMD. What integrated graphics are? Well integrated graphics or iGPUs is the graphics processor unit, graphics processing unit that is inside your CPU or processor. CPU means processor if you don't get it already. Anyway, so integrated graphics are usually pretty bad as they are only made for web browsing, video and photo watching and also office working. But there is a new type of integrated graphics called Vega, which seems to have, well, good performance. They get good performance and even though they are iGPUs, which, like I said, they are pretty bad. Those iGPUs are only in a few AMD processors though. As I'm also recording my screen using OBS, my iGPU is going to have more work to do and in consequence the recording is going to be kind of lagging. Anyway, let's begin. So, I will do one random project that I have made and start to add more models. As I finish loading in the models and the effects and they start to lag. I apply some of my tweaks that I will also show you at the end of the video and suddenly MD start to be more stable. Now, let's switch to my dedicated graphics and do the same thing but without any of the tweaks. The project loads in just fine but when I add more models and more effects I hit a battery limitation. What is that? Well, as I'm running my laptop on battery power, the battery is not powerful enough to supply all the necessary power. This can be simply fixed by plugging in, but I won't do that as I kind of need a good battery for college. As I was also recording my screen, the iGPU was drawing power. I did the exact same thing while I was not recording and the GPU or the AKV graphics were only at 70% utilization. This means that I can add even more models and or effects like I can go crazier. Anyway, so now let's get to the part that you all have been waiting for, the tweaks. I'll start with the most obvious one. Number one, close our applications when working and or editing in MMD. As our apps take system resources as CPU, RAM and GPU, MMD will have nothing to work with and so it will lag and get horrible performance and rendering times. Trust me, this will help, this will help you a lot. Number two, make the animation first and then add the effect. As AMD starts to lag when adding effects, just make the animation first and then add the effects, as I think that no one likes when animating to get a laggy program and a loud PC. Number 3. From here I need to first say that from those sticks only old PCs and computers that are struggling to run AMD will benefit, but you can also use this tweak to improve your performance if you feel like needing a few more frames and if you are curious to see how AMD looks like when running on a potato. I have to switch back to my screen recording, so see you on the other side. Alright everyone, I'm back in my normal workspace and uh, shall I begin? So I'm gonna start first with the small tweaks like the ones that are gonna help you the least and then gonna go up to the bigger ones, the ones that are gonna help you the most. So I'm gonna start by, well, saying the thickness of the edge lines. This simply gets rid of the edge lines and makes them all look not so cartoonish. This is a very small boost in performance which is barely noticeable and is mostly making your animation looks better but still it's quite good to have it because well, usually on default, on default models like the Vocaloid that you get with the program well they have those edge lines and it seems that this model doesn't have them. Anyway, so uh, let me first set the better plan and right here I have task manager, I should have said this before. I have task manager and just to show you how how's the CPU, GPU, RAM and all the other utilizations before the tweaks. Like you see right here 77% which is quite bad. But hey, it's better than 100%. But still, with those tweaks, I'm gonna go and simply bash this, bash this thing in and get it to around 20 or 30 or 40. We'll see. 
So let me set up per camera plan so you can see the details on the model's face. Where it's there. So uh, on to the next one, the ground shadows. This is again a very small boost in performance and there isn't much to say other than it gets rid of ground shadows. Again, this is in the view tab and display ground shadows. What this does, well, like I said, is the ground shadows. But you need to have this on. Actually, you have you need to have those. Like, you need to have the flat, like, simply look at this. It's not flat. And the shadow goes straight, like the shoes. But we're gonna disable it. And again, go back. So, mid map. Sincerely, even I don't know what Mipmap does and I could not understand it. I will link down below a Wikipedia article about the about Mipmap and explain which explains it better. This is another small boost. Again, this is in the view tab. And it's well Mipmap. Again a very small boost in performance. Like if you look right here. Boom. Yeah, that was it. Anyway, so uh, on to the next one, the anti-aliasing. This is small to medium boost as, from my experience, it helps out with lower end CPUs. What this process does is simply takes care of jagged edge lines, as you can see right here. If I go again into the view tab and anti-aliasing, you can see that you kind of get those points. But if I zoom in closer, you see that there are jagged lines all around here. As soon as I turn it on, well, they're not there anymore. Anyway, so we're gonna leave this off and we're gonna go on to the next one. The shelf sh shadow. This is a medium to high boost in performance as it gets rid of all the model shadow. This helps out your GPU quite a lot because let's, let's just see what this does. Again, in the view tab, Self shadow and boom. What in the world is this? <laughs> so this is how it looks without shadows. Pretty white. Pretty white. Hm, not finding any shortcuts. Anyway, so let's now limit the frame weight. I cannot stress people enough to understand how big of a boost this is. If you leave your frame rate to no limit, like like this, which I did on purpose, I usually have it like 60. But if you leave a frame rate to no limit, your GPU will stress out a lot in order to give the best frame rate possible. As you can see here, 69 and so on. It dropped down to 30 for some sort of weird reason. So this means it will go to a higher utilization level and will draw unnecessary power. This is a tweak that absolutely every MMDR should do as it helps out your computer run much smoother, uses the frame rate. Well, right here you gotta use the frame rate that suits you better. Like, I can use 60 because my computer is 60 capable, or my laptop is 60 capable. It does well, it does well. But I can also go to 30 if I want even a better boost and stays there, doesn't move at all. Even if I go crazy, it moves a little, that, but this is, yeah, when moving to frames and every computer should do this. Or yeah, almost every computer does this. So I can, as we can see here, the GPU utilization is around 30, like I said. It's very, very small and screw and you. I can't wait to reinstall Windows. Anyway, so like I said, use the frame rate that suits you the most. And right now, here's a little, here's a little tweak that helps out you a lot: the screen size or the resolution. Right now, you gotta go to one of my old videos in order to see what your screen resolution is. Like, I'm going to, sh to leave right here in the i card or card or annotation or however you want to call it, a video which is called how to render in HD or somewhere around like that, which I think is one of my first videos, if not even the first video. And in that video, you're going to see a fragment where 
you set your resolution and play with this. I'm also going to leave the site that tells you your resolution down in the screenshot below. But for now, switch to your resolution, to your screen resolution. You can even go with even lower resolution, like I can go with 720p, which is 720 by 1280. Yep, I'm right. I've noted everything right here. And boom, resolution switch and our GPU is even lower. Yay. So I did that. It's all right, it's going, it's all right. My, like my computer can run AMD without those tweaks. Like I think I'm gonna use a few tweaks just to maintain my battery life. As I said, I'm running my bar my laptop on battery life. I almost said I'm running my battery on laptop. Yes, I know. Anyway, so you can even go to a lower resolution, which is 480p, like 720p is the HD resolution. The full HD is 1080p, and the VGA resolution is 480p. Yes, I know. Um, yeah, so the 480p resolution or the VGA resolution is 460, like 460 or 80 by 640. Boom. You get something like this. Yes, I know it's bad, but try to remain at at least HD as VGA or 480p is pretty bad, as you can see here, and you're gonna see in the render result because I'm gonna do a real render. So here is a button. You see it? Yes, you see it? Good. Press it. That was it. So as you can see here, it doesn't show you your frame rate anymore, so this is useless right now. But this saves your CPU power. Like, right now it's like, seriously, is this even a 3D program anymore? Like, what is this? 1%? 2%? Even to around 7? 5? Like, seriously, is this even a 3D program anymore? So this is one of the things that I'm gonna use as it doesn't do that much and it just only saves your CPU power. This is a tweak that even, that I think, I, I personally think that all MNDR should use just because if you're doing multitasking and you don't want MND to get on your way, in your way, I mean, you can turn this on and well, save some CPU power. Like right now it's going to 10 and boom. That was it. You get more power, more, you save more power. And yeah, the final results are, well, amazing. Like just simply look at this. Look at this. Simply, what is this? What is this? Hey, come back. So, this can help your computer a lot, but this will affect your final result. Let me do a quick render of everything. As you saw, the recording was very fast, but when we go and look at it, uh, where was it? Right here, two. Well, it looks just like this, which is bad. I know, but here's the thing. I advise you to use those tweaks when animating. Yes, just look at this. This is 480p or VGA resolution. I know it looks bad. It looks bad, but like I said, you can use 720p. Like if your computer struggles a lot when running AMD, Use the tweaks I mentioned, the one that I mentioned before and the one that I also showed you right now. Like, I can simply go, boom, back to my normal resolution. I think that was a six there, one, three, six, six, enter, boom, back to normal. 
and ground shadows again anti nail sync boom self shadow mid map and 60 i can simply go like this all day long but if your computer is struggling to run mmd simply apply those tweaks upon starting your project like when you start your project do those tweaks immediately animate with them go with them you can leave your resolution to 720 or whatever your screen resolution is like i said 480p is just for extreme measures like if your computer just struggles to run windows like i don't think that any of you are going to use 480p and yeah use those tweaks when starting your progress or your yeah when starting your project and then after you finish with all your animating unapply those tweaks just so your model looks good and well your recording is gonna look good go on do all your effects if your computer supports it like some effects might crash yeah whatever like some effects might crash even I don't know like I never had an effect that crashed on me before but those you're probably watching this because your computer struggles to run MMD and who knows you might not be able to play with effects you might yeah you might you might need to I'm gonna solve that later <laughs> I'm gonna solve that later hello I thought it froze I think it froze yeah it froze <laughs> anyway so just if your computer has extreme problems running MD or you just want more performance apply those tweaks but like I said apply those tweaks before starting when you're not done unapply them just so your recording looks good or your render so just your final product looks good and well don't be afraid to use them like you're not the only one that does this because no one has that god computer like uh, yeah some people have god computers but still don't be afraid to use them because even i gonna use some of those to save battery power because yeah it's a it's a laptop running on battery so anyway i really hope to with those tweaks better good tell me the results tell me how much this helps you we did also a little experiment i i showed you how md runs on much better saying how md looks like when running on a potato and yeah if you want to help me out subscribe it's free you know it's free and i think you like free stuff Anyway, I was Albert from Hitty Studios. Thank you for watching. Bye!